Hi there, folks. I'm Brian from Constantly Calibrating. I'm here with Jack from Achievement Hunter. Hello, and folks. Various other live stuff from Rooster Teeth. Yeah, too much stuff. It's kind of <laughs> kind of blown up. It used to be very simple, and it's kind of a couple of videos. Now it's like, oh, now we've got podcast and live action and RTX and Let's Play Live and all yeah. kinds of stuff. So hey, quite a few things. So uh, out of all of that, uh, do you have kind of like uh, one that you favor more than the others? Uh, you know. Achievement Hunter, we we assume that you know that's one of your biggest things. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I started Achievement Hunter with Jeff about seven and a half years ago, and uh, I mean, that's obviously like my, that's I love that, and that's that's what got me to where I am now. Right. But uh, it's it's kind of cool that you know we work at a company where we're able to try new stuff, and uh, like I did this event called Let's Play Live earlier in the year that was a live version of what we do in our little office, and we got right. to do it on stage in front of about two thousand people. And it was really, really cool. And it was cool to work for a company that actually gave me the opportunity to kind of try something new. And kind of, the, I made a pitch. They gave me a shot. They gave us a budget. And we did it. And so I think it turned out pretty good. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we made any money off of it. But <laughs> other than that, um, I mean, but really, I mean, any anytime I get to be on camera or talking to the public or meeting fans, I'm, I'm excited. So really all of it is, is what I love. I love all of it. Right on. And uh, I've noticed uh, you guys haven't done as many as you used to because I, I know you went out to look at Unity with Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you do a lot of studio stuff where you go out to studios, you talk with them, Yeah, I mean, uh, get in contact? Yeah, I mean, like sometimes studios will bring us out to, uh, you know, check out their games early. Honestly, like we produce so much content now to lose someone for two or three days can right. be pretty crushing. So it's kind of we don't do it as much anymore. Uh, we actually had an opportunity recently where Aria Games, based in Germany, flew out all of Achievement Hunter, which was really cool. <laughs> and it was one of those deals like, all right, can we do this? And it was like, yeah, it was kind of cool. So we sort of used it, you know, not only as a chance to play their game, which is really fun, yeah. but also as kind of like a company retreat where it was like, you know, at one point, it was literally all of Achievement Hunter sitting on a bridge in Germany drinking beer. And it was just like, it was really cool to kind of yeah. do that. But I would love to go out and do more stuff. I would love to go visit more studios. I've been, you know, I love going to L.A., San Francisco, and then Vancouver, Montreal to see that stuff. Um, but yeah. it's really just kind of a matter of timing and whether or not we can. But, I mean, if there's any studios out there watching this, I would love to go visit you, especially if you're somewhere in London <laughs> or Vancouver or, uh, I don't know, New York City. I haven't been there um, in a while. I don't know if they're in Vancouver, but uh, Wonderfling. Okay. Uh, they're a smaller studio. I know they're from uh, – no, I'm thinking of the uh, – um, Yes. Star Starwall. Oh yeah, yeah those, those guys. guys uh, oh yeah, we love. Toronto. Yeah, we love Starwall. Those guys are really yeah. cool. Like Starwall. I mean, that's one of those games. That, that's sort of the beauty of what we do. It's like you know that was a game that was recommended to us from a fan. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let's check it out. And I was like, at the time, it was just a flash game, and I was like, this is actually a lot of fun. And so we made a video, and then they did. They had this Kickstarter going at the time, and like we, I would like to think we helped drive some people to their, you know, it's the oh, promotion. No, we, we, so we were talking to them yesterday, and, and they're like, you know, they had this like fun. It's like, what happens? Like, oh, Rooster Teeth did a video about us, and. <laughs> Uh, you guys kind of have that magic touch with other things because uh, we're, I would say we're good friends with the guys at uh, um, Pony. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> The Clobber guys, I love yeah, those guys. They, they're, they're nuts, but uh, <laughs> they, they, they attribute a lot of you know, their success to you guys and the Let's Plays that you guys have done. Yeah. Uh, have you guys had a chance to play uh, We Are Legend yet? Uh, not yet. I have a code for it literally in my email right now that I've got to wait to get back to the office next week to play. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's sort of the beauty yeah. of it. It's like, you know, one thing about Achievement Hunter in particular, if we're playing a game, it's because we want to play that game, you right. know? Well, unless it's World of Warcraft and we're dragging the lads through. But anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And it's like, if we're having fun in a game, it's because we're legitimately having fun. Like, yeah. we don't do stuff we don't like. And if it's something that we just don't have fun with, we'll just stop. Yeah. And so and there's been times where we play a game and it's like, oh, okay, this is not working. <laughs> and it's like, all right, just kill it. And it's not worth putting towards the effort to try to fake it. So it's like, yeah, let's just be real and actually, you know, enjoy a game. And something like Star Wall, it's like, yeah, this is perfect for what we do. It's fun, it's quick, it's entertaining. And it's like, hey, they're doing a Kickstarter, let's help them out. And so, yeah. and now, you know, our dumb faces are in this game. And it's kind of <laughs> weird to see myself, my little face, riding on the back of a whale <laughs> or a Star Wall, excuse me. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I mean, in, in any way we can do that, I mean, that's sort of the beauty of this community is like, they see that and they recognize that if we are excited by something, that's genuine. And so they'll, they'll kind of follow along, give it a chance. And so I'm, I'm glad we can do that. Right on. Now, it's uh, more of a recent thing, and I'm not sure if this is uh, full screen pushing this or you guys kind of pushing the personal channels. Mm -hmm. But I, I love seeing that from you, and uh, especially because uh, you're a fan of vinyl. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. a fan of doing hands-on work. Uh, it was cool watching you do the workbench. But I'm curious, uh, what are your go-to, like... 
top top three uh, albums that you, you would say? Oh, jeez. Put me on the spot, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the stuff, I mean, honestly, that wasn't with full screen. That was something we've been working on for like right a on. year. And it was kind of like, how can we do this and kind of make it work within what we're yeah. doing? And like a lot of people said, like, oh, Ray left because he couldn't do this. Like, this was in works yeah. well before he took off, but it kind of just all sort of, it looks, it looks you know, rough, but I mean, it was in the right. works. As far as albums go, Jesus, man. Um, Turn the Radio Off by Rubik Fish is one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, Dookie by Green Day. I can listen to it front to back. And then probably something like Dark Side of the Moon. Like, I mean, so, something where you can yeah. just hit play and just sit back and let it just play all the way through. Or halfway through, flip it, and then listen to the other half of it. I, that's how I feel about uh, AM by uh, yeah. Arctic Monkeys. Because okay. I think that's one of their best produced yeah. uh, records so far. Like, I... I love him. I love that sound, but uh, there's something about that where it's just easy to listen to. Okay, but uh, yeah, uh, man, I've been getting like I mean, like Black Keys and like uh, oh. like Arcs, the new the new guy or the guy from Black Keys doing his new band is pretty badass. And oh, I haven't had a chance I don't to know. listen to it yet. It's good. Uh, out of my mind is like the single they have out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really good. And then uh, then like Ellie King, the girl who does X's and O's, it's a great great song. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I could I could get into music. I'm going to ACL <laughs> later in the year. I'm really excited. Like Walk the Moon, I love Walk the Moon right yeah. now. No, they're, um, they're solid. Yeah. So anyway, sorry. This is a music conversation. No, no, no <laughs> but like that, that's the thing is that because um, I love that you guys are able to start doing more personal stuff because yeah, I yeah. think um, we get to see the you know the faces you guys put on for Achievement Hunter, which you know they're tuned up versions of yourselves, yeah, yeah. but to see a little bit more kind of behind yeah. that, I think a lot of people appreciate. Yeah, and that's one of those things too with our personal stuff. It's like you know I don't think a hour video of me playing Sim City would go well on the Rooster Teeth channel. Like that doesn't that's something that like I don't think eight million people need to watch <laughs> or three million on the Let's Play channel. It's like right. but that's something like oh yeah if, if you're into if you're into the stuff that I do, this would probably be something you're into as well. And so yeah. it kind of makes sense to kind of live on. Our own personal channels and also I mean as part of the deal if if Rooster Teeth wants to promote something on your personal channel like bring it to you know bring it from kind of junior varsity to the big leagues <laughs> yeah. you know they can do that and so if, you know, it's a deal where like if I come up with a show idea test it on my personal channel and it does well like they could be like hey let's work this out and bring it up to the you know the main channel so That's how Game Kids came around uh, yeah Game Kids we did some tests and kind of went from there so okay. yeah but uh, speaking of uh things you're passionate about I know that for Extra Life you are a you know, big uh, proponent for that absolutely uh, so you kind of want to uh, plug uh, what you're, you're doing with them because I know you guys are uh, going to be doing the 24 hour mm-hmm. stream pretty soon yeah well it's in November so okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's November this year I don't know the exact date off the top of my head but uh, yeah I mean Extra Life has been you know we've kicked ass with those guys for the last two years but we've been, I mean Jeff and I did it back in 2010 and um and now it's kind of like the last two years that have been really, really big for us. And yeah. last year was pretty awesome. We had LeVar Burton on there. Alan Richin came on and just wrecked the place. Yep. And so I really don't know what we're going to do this year. <laughs> so it's uh, we'll figure something out. We have a couple months to, to work out some cool stuff. Oh, very cool. But uh, yeah, thank you for taking time with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh, so where can we find you online? Uh, where, what's your personal channel? Where can, where can people find you? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you can find me at roosterteeth.com, achievementhunter.com, youtube.com slash let's play. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm Jack underscore P. And then on if you go to jackpatillo.com, it'll take you to my, my personal YouTube stuff. So, right cool. And that's two T's. P-A-T-T-I-L-L-O. Two T's, two L's. All right. Right on. <laughs> So this has been Brian with Constantly Calibrating here with Jack from Machine Hunter. Thank you so much for taking time. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.